Hello out there, sports fans. This shit load of sports is back. And we got a couple of hot stuff stuff here. They're uh, our fucking Monday title sponsor of Muscle Sport Radio every week on the uh, Instagram live there. But we're talking Cooperstown. We're talking baseball, Baines, and who is his cohort going Lee in? Smith. Baines and Lee Smith. Neither who myself or the man Kephas believe is worthy of Smith said was, induction. Smith was more well elected. Worthy They'll than, be inducted yeah. in the summer. Smith is more worthy than Baines. Smith was a quality reliever. For a lot of teams, for a lot of years, now that we're letting relievers in, well, it, it, I'm not saying we're letting them in. Relievers are coming up to it's changed induction. Since the 60s you know, and 50s. Fingers, Gossage, Eckersley, um, guys are coming up for induction. Yeah, Trevor Hoffman, Mariano this year, who should be unanimous. But well, that's, that's yeah, that that remains. He's the first seen. ballot. Um, Lee Smith, you can't argue. I mean, he's he's up there with the Trevor I'll Hoffman's. Argue. You know, he's. I'll argue he's it. He's not. Um, he wasn't dominant per se, like Mariano or Trevor Hoffman. Nobody's or, dominant like Mariano. That's a tough. Or or no. lights out like Eckersley was for those few years, but he was a closer for a long time and and, and good and and one one of the consistent Rolades Fireman uh, award fireman winners. Is, yeah. Do, do do we want to do your? They have to have ten years of like all star style numbers to look at these guys. I'll I'll do that if you'd like. Because we've done that before, and we've sometimes I've changed my mind after hearing some of their numbers. You know what it is? Because I watch these guys play. Obviously, if I'm hearing like, oh, Phil Rizzuto made the Hall of Fame. Obviously, I've never seen him play. But Lee Smith, I remember him and Baines when they first came up. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm getting old, Keith. Yeah. <laughs> Are you uh, now? But you gotta, you gotta tell me what, what is your, what is my threshold? Yeah, I mean, what's your threat? Like, my threshold is probably a two point two five, at least. Now you have to remember, years ago, like when Smith was out there, twenty five to thirty saves was high. It, they didn't have 50 saves like they do now. They would pitch fucking three innings sometimes, these right. guys. They didn't just pitch to fucking three guys. Oh, he got a four-out save like he fucking walked on water. You know, it's, it's the yeah, game has changed. It, it, it's, it was a, it's a completely different animal. Yeah, so I'm right. not looking at it with today's numbers in mind as as considered all-star and dominate numbers. Well, I'll tell you right now, as you go right... How many years did he play, though? He played a lot. He played from 80 to 97, so he played 18 years. Played 18 years. He had 478 and saves. That's a lot of saves. That's a lot of saves. You know, Lee Smith is averaging a 303 ERA as a reliever, which is a little on the high side. At the time, now yeah, it's not. He's, he's yeah. got a lot of losses, 92 losses to 71 wins. 478 saves, a lot of saves. That is a, that's an excellent number. He yeah. averages 32. It's above, I said 25 to 30 he's, in my head, and that's all that. He's he's he's, he's playing he's playing yeah. in the right sandbox. He's a, he's a six-time, seven-time, excuse me, seven-time all out of 18 years. So, um... He was never Cy Young. He was second in the Cy Young. They should never fucking win Cy Young as uh, awards, right. in my opinion. Anyway, closes or re- any reliever. That's a starter's fucking gig. Uh, he was a, a th- he was voted. He got he got four times. He was voted in the MVP voting. He was like fourteenth, okay. tenth, eighth. I think as high as he got was was eighth one it, year. That's also a tough task for a reliever. Right. Did he hang but, on too long, like the end of his career? Was that, that he was some of his numbers skewed because of those shit years at the end? Because uh, I know he bounced around a little bit before he hung it up. I mean, his last year, 96 and 97 were, were, were bad years. But, I mean, he was he was still effective in, in, in at 38, 37, you know, very consistent 36. He was... You know, he he was right around where he needed to be. Okay. Low threes with the with the saves. I mean, he was a. But then now it opens up. You got to bring in Rob Beck, and Rob Nen. You know now now these these. Oh, you know, God, that's if you, not if even if you, in the conversation. If you bring in those guys, I mean those because those guys were Johnny you know, right fucking on, Franco. I was joking in yeah, the gym. John Franco. I love John you know, Franco. I mean, if you want to talk he's about he's not guys, a Hall of Famer. The guys that hung around, Roscoe's still pitching. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I mean we. Again, this opens a door 
that I mean, how it many opened, the DH door was open, and now look what we're yeah. getting, and that's our next topic after the you know. Smith. So I, I'm going to say no with Smith. I mean, I know he's a Roloids, Ro, Rolades relief man. They don't have it anymore. That's why I can't say it. <laughs> the Fireman Award. I mean, I know he that's won that. That's it for this week, fans. Yeah, he won that like three or four times. You know, that was kind of like the Cy Young of of the yeah, relief Yeah, Fireman of the Year Award. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going no with him. I'm gonna go no. I don't know how many years he's been on the ballot. It's probably a while because this was the Veterans Committee. Yeah. So it's different than the writers. He never got above thirty nine percent or forty percent. And said. it's seventy five percent. So it's a right. huge, you know, jump to go from not even being close with the BB, uh, the BBC. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm glad B-B-W-C. it's under my mind, not my fucking tongue. Or, <laughs> or BBW. BBWC. That's okay. I don't mind BBW. Yeah. <laughs> but Lee Smith, to me, was a great reliever, not a dominant player in his time. Um, he did a lot of good things, mostly with the Cubs. I remember him being mostly a Cub guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was with them the year they they should have won the pennant, right? When they blew it to the Padres in '84. Uh, so he's been around a long time. Um, it's really his his length is what it, it, the, those 478 saves are what really you know because I think he was the league leader. I mean, he was he was the career leader at at one point when he bailed. When he yeah. bailed, I think he bailed, and he was the career leader. And I think uh, Trevor Hoffman jumped him. Yeah, and then and then obviously Mariano jumped him. Yeah, what was impressive with Smith is that he threw gas. Yeah, so for him the last eighteen seasons, even though they, but like how many innings did he fucking pitch in, in a lot of those years? I bet you he like, fucking pitched a lot of innings. Well, in he'd the be like in the sixty-five, days. seventy, eighty range. I mean, today's so, games yeah. they'll get fifty saves. They'll fucking pitch, you know, like fucking what fifty-eight innings maybe. Yeah. Because most of the time it's a one inning fucking thing. Depending on the team too, how many wins are they getting? What's you know what are we looking yeah. at? You know, you know you get a you get a bad team, a team that only has how many opportunities? Seventy wins. You get a guy that has thirty saves. Maybe maybe he's, he's pitching forty innings. He's yeah, he's doing pretty good then. He's especially like fucking Ray Searage or Carlos Cisco. Cisco Ray Carlos. Searage, an ex Met left handed reliever, went to the Indians. Um, the next guy. This um, one, I, I, if, if, yeah. we may say Lee Smith is like, eh, I don't think so, but I can't go crazy. Somebody can make a good argument him. This guy, yeah, I don't no. even, it's not even a fucking on the table. No. A DH, more I'll, games I'll, than outfield. I'll, I'll tell you his his the reason why, if I was checking columns, yes, Hall of Famer, yes, Hall of Famer. This is Harold Baines we're speaking okay. of now. Twenty eight hundred and sixty six hits. So in a in a twenty two year career, uh, all right, that's 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 going to be more towards yes towards a Hall of Fame, towards a no. I'm not one of those automatic guys, but that's going to be towards a yes more than a a, a, a a yes towards a no on that. Yeah. And a stat that I love that they took away that that me and you both loved. He led the majors Holds. in four or five years for game winning RBIs. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm that's a stat they got rid of. I like that stat. You I'm know, that was I, a Smith. That's how yeah. fucking stun out I am. <laughs> um, I like that stat. I, I, game know. winning RBIs is huge. The only time it doesn't really matter is it's like it's a three to two game, and now you got that third RBI, and your team ends In up winning. Inning. You know, twenty to two or something. Right. You know, then it really. I mean, but. Most of the time, you think of a game winning RBI, you're thinking the fucking bottom of the eighth, right. and now you're at home, and now you fucking you close it. Lee Smith comes in, gets a save, and you both go to the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> out the door, boom. Uh, but yes, game winning so, RBI is, now, is a stat they don't use his enough. His 22, his, his 162 game average, okay? Still, not Which that bad. You're a big, you know, you your numbers guy with that. 289, 22, 93. Not bad numbers. No, no, no. Actually, excellent numbers, in my opinion. Not Especially bad numbers. for the time he played. 20 something homers was a slugger at the time right. of year. Now, those are excellent Hall of Fame numbers for a 10 year gold glove shortstop, <laughs> a 10 year gold glove second baseman, a catcher. Yeah, not a, a center fielder. A, an, an absolute, the best outfielder. Yeah. That, the best. Well, not a corner. I'll like, go up the middle yeah, with that. The be, yeah, the best center fielder. Like, like, like 
Lee makes, Mazzilli. Makes Paul Blair look like <laughs> fucking Pete and Cavillia. Like, the best. <laughs> I liked Fat Pete and Cavillia. Right. <laughs> like, that would, that, those numbers would be a Hall of Famer for insane defense. Brooks Robinson, like defense, you know, for those numbers. Yeah. yeah. He was a DH. If you're a DH, you uh, got to hit over 300. You got to average. And if you're hitting over 300, you're either driving in a ton of runs or you're stealing a ton of bases. You're doing other you're things hitting, besides production. You're doing production. other things yeah. other than that. He was a great hitter. Baines was an excellent hitter. Smooth swing. A clutch hitter, yeah. obviously, with the game-winning RBIs. Yeah. Not, Not a, a Hall of, of Famer. Famer. Not no. even close. And you said, who was on the committee? We were talking about this. Larusa, who coached him for the White Sox. Matt for years with Chicago. Uh, Alomar, who played with him in Baltimore. Um, Fisk, who played with him in, in the, for the White Sox. His GM, Hawk Harrelson, right? We think it, that was the same. I mean, guy. a lot of yeah, Chris Maddow Russo had Larusa on, and I sent you. I think I sent you that link. They had. They got into a little argument. He goes, oh, so you don't think I ever... Resp- LaRusso's argument was, you don't think I have respect for the Hall of Fame? I would just vote my friends in. Because Russo probably agrees with us, right? Yeah, Russo yeah. said he's another one. He, he went nuts on he that. He never got above 28 or 29% of the votes. It's not there. You he, can't put it there, there, ne- Mikey. <laughs> he never got... He never led in anything. That's what I'm saying. He has he to never be dominant. Led, he he never, never was dominant. Even he, at his position of DH, which is not a position. He never won a batting title. He never won a home run. You know, he's... If he was... A top five or top ten fielding position player at second, short, or up the middle, or catcher, or center field. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Not as a corner infielder, right. corner outfielder, or DH. You no. put Omar Vizquel with these numbers, he's in. Yeah. You know? That he's was in. a fucking... A vacuum. Unbelievable shortstop for right. years with the uh, uh, Seattle. Yeah. So what was Baines is like... I mean, you know, I mean... You want to do the 10-year? Let, yeah, it's, it's a little more harder with the relief pitcher because, you know... All right, you're going you're gonna to count? Uh, yeah, I got 10 fingers. I don't think we're going to need them. Do I need to take my pants off? We're not going to get that far, right? You're, you're going to do it in one hand. And that only counts as a half anyway. <laughs> 255, 13, 49. 286, 10, 41. 271, 25, 105. Yes. 280, 20, 99. I'll give that. 304, 29, 94. Yes. 309, 22, 113. Yes. Ooh, ooh. 296, <laughs> 21, 88. You know what? I'm feeling good today. I, I got I got jerked off by my wife last night. I'm giving him five. That's what I smell? <laughs> 293, 20, 93. 293, 2093. Well, if I gave the previous one, I got to give this one six. 277, 1381. No. 309, 16, 72. No. Uh, 284, 16, 65. No. 295, 20, 90. I'll give it to him. Close, very close to all those 253, good numbers. 16, 16, 76. No, no, no. 313, 20, 78. Not bad. 20, 78? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be a dick and say No. 294, 16, 54. No. 299, 24, 63. No, too low on the ribs. 311, 22, 95. Yes, that's, that's solid. Okay. Is that his full career? 301, 16, 67. No. No. 312, 25, 103. Uh, we're up to nine. Get out of here, really? We're up to nine, and uh-huh. I did a dick move on one. It could yeah. be ten. But I, it's, to me, DH doesn't ever get in the Hall of Fame. Uh, ooh, we're gonna two fifty four eleven thirty nine, and then two thirteen one nine nine and a half. Harold Baines almost got the Keefe's formula to be in the Hall of Fame, but I would say even if he had because twenty seasons in a row, it's a DH. It's, it's a not DH. a full time baseball player. You know what? The, the, Molitor is not a Hall of Famer in my opinion. I don't give a fuck what uh, anybody says. Molitor, I got I'll 3, 000, fight so. you all day on that. He he could have if he did it playing the fucking field. I would all day long. I loved Paul. I loved that Harvey's Wall Banger Milwaukee team. Paul Molitor was great. The minute he became a full-time DH and went to Toronto and all of that and had those big years there, end of story for him in Hall of Fame conversation. Yeah, a lot, had of to have argue, those numbers before that. a lot of people argue he was a compiler. 
He hung but, on as a DH, which a lot of guys do, and that's why I'm not a big fan. I'm a National League baseball. I love a three to two game, not a fucking twenty two to three game. Here's here's an argument for Molitor. One in Milwaukee. Yes. You know, pretty much the captain of that team. Oh, he was huge on it. Yeah, him and Yount would Him and Yount. Yeah. Uh, one in Toronto, World Series in Toronto. Two? Did he win both of those years? I think so, Back yeah. to back, he was with them twice, right? And then and went to Minnesota and brought a winning culture to Minnesota. Minnesota also was a good team there. Yes, but to me, the minute Paul Marlin became a full-time DH, very much like uh, Seattle, the third Edgar base, Martinez. Edgar. Very early in his career, he was taken out of the field. Like, much I think Mike Blowers was playing third at one point, and they took Edgar and put him at fucking DH. Much Which, much like, uh, I think, uh, Miguel Andujar is going to have with the Yankees. If he, uh, You see, to me, like a guy like Dave Winfield fucking played great his whole career, was a great outfielder, stole home runs over the wall, had a fucking... BB for a fucking arm, and only hung on as a DH later in his career with Cleveland, with Toronto. Just he had a fucking it was like a cameos. Le- LeGrand Larange, Rusty Stop yes. was a decent outfielder, serviceable, and only really DH'd, or DH'd later he in his career. finished with then, the Mets then, as a pinch, pinch hitter, yeah. and he played first base with the Mets yeah. a little bit. Now, yeah, but Rusty Staub, if you remember, was an excellent right fielder yeah. in the 73. Yeah, arm shot, and then he started well, throwing the ball underhand. Well, that famous throw in the 73 yeah. World Series where he could, couldn't even lift his arm, but he still, yeah. you, they kept him in the game because he was a, he took it in the ass, too. Good guy, though. Yeah, I what know. A, he just a, passed what, away. Yeah, had him what a great guy. Year. Started the, uh, like, a big widows and children. Ve- yes, for the police. For the police. Yeah. No, fire. I'm joking. Listen, I don't care if the guy was into other guys. He was a fucking met. I loved him. He's been touching me under the table all day. What is he talking about? Man, I don't need a hand job tonight. I got one right now after this right. fucking tape's over. <laughs> so <Happy> basically, <laughs> <laughs> give me a SpongeBob. You forgot your kissy kissy. I sure did. All right, that's gonna do it for us. Me and Keith both do not believe Baines nor Smith below in the Hall of Fame. Although we did get a little surprise that Baines came close to the formula, the Keith formula. But the H- ain't no BCS. I'll tell you that. Ain't no BCS. <laughs> Check us out, right? Subscribe right here. Muscle Sport TV on YouTube. Daily content free. Can't beat it, guys. Later.